Hello, my name's Luke, and this here is Molly, my sidekick and helper. Good girl. Ooh, what a nice stretch. This week I'll be making kuskusu, which is a Maltese hearty springtime soup. Now every family has its own version of this, so I thought I'd mention it now because I, people are going to say you're not supposed to do it with this or you're not supposed to do it with that. But um, obviously this has been around for, for quite some time, so everyone puts their own spin on it. This is my Nana's recipe according to my dad. So hopefully it hasn't lost too much through the transition from Nana to, to son and grandson. For me, this recipe is all about the things you add at the end. So there's a poached egg, there's the ricotta, there's the, the sheep's cheese, the jvainit, and obviously the crusty Maltese bread. I hope you enjoy my recipe. If you do, click subscribe and the notification bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. <laughs> if you try this recipe, send us photos in the comment box below. Hope you enjoy it and see you next time. So, couscous is the Maltese name for the pasta beads, which are not to be confused with couscous. Whatever you do, don't use couscous. We normally make this dish around springtime when all the broad beans are harvested. As for veggies, every family has their own version, like I said, but my nanas has potatoes, pumpkin, cauliflower, onion, garlic, and broad beans. Sometimes we put in peas as well. You'll need a few tablespoons of tomato paste and a veg cube. You can obviously make your own veg stock, but I'm trying to stick to her recipe. So first off, fry off the onions and garlic in a bit of oil for a couple of minutes and add the cauliflower. Then put on a pot of water so you can cook the pasta beads. Add the veg cube and tomato paste to, the, to the, your onions and cook it off for a couple of minutes. Now you can add your potatoes and your pumpkin. Fill the pot up with water or veg stock if that's what you're using. Season with salt and pepper. You can cover it and bring it up to the boil. Now, I've seen some recipes where they cook the pasta beads in the soup itself, but we prefer to cook it separately for three reasons. One, it can stick to the bottom of the pan if you're not continuously stirring. Two, you're going to get all that starch released into your soup. And three, if you don't eat it all, the pasta will grow and be all soggy when you heat it up the next day. So, cook your pasta separately. When it's done, put it aside for serving. After around 20 minutes, check to see if the potatoes are done. When they are, you can add your broad beans and bring it back to the boil. We add them at this stage instead of the beginning so they don't become all mushy by the time it's cooked. So all that's left before serving is to poach as many eggs as you need in the soup. I poach them till they're hard poached, uh, remove them when they're done and put them aside. Now for my favourite part, the serving and eating. We normally put everything on the table and everyone makes their own. Put the pasta in the bowl first so the soup heats it up. Top it up with the veggie soup and then the poached egg, ricotta and fresh sheep's cheese. I like to add some peppered sheep cheese too. That's pretty much it. Serve with crusty bread and enjoy. If you like, you can check out my Maltese Thera recipe as obviously it goes really great with this.